Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Let's go try Malaysia's delicious rice noodle dishes. We're heading to this place in TTDI called Chong Tung Ki. Apparently it has the best Kai Si Ho Fun. Directly translated, Kai Si Ho Fun means shredded chicken rice noodles. And inside this dish you usually find rice noodles, shredded chicken of course, and then you usually have prawns, a little bit of vegetable, and it's all in a really nice and flavorful light broth. It's a dish that's really popular in Ipo, but in KL you can always get it as well. With the Kai Si Ho Fan, we're going to have it with their Wat Kai, which is their steamed chicken, and apparently it is so 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 good. Alright, the Kai Si Ho Fan, portion of Wat Kai, prawn noodles, and also some bean sprouts. I like the prawn oil in the noodles. It changes the flavor a lot. Mm. This place is super packed during lunchtime. You have to queue and wait. And then they pretty much sell out of their chicken by like 3 o'clock. They just close, right, when they're done. So like a lot of restaurants in KL. was 46 ringgit so it was about 23 ringgit per person but we ordered chicken vegetables and also pawn one time so I think it's quite worth it good morning it's another beautiful day in Malaysia I have my juice it's a combination of three juices Cheers. maybe it's like apple pear orange whatever it is it's pretty good Mm. Today I'm going to eat asam laksa, which is another traditional Malaysian dish and it's also made out of rice noodles except it's in a different shape. These ones are more tubular. Tubular is such a weird word. But they're like cylinders and the broth is super rich. It's made out of fish and you'll usually get a lot of little fish pieces inside as well. It's topped with lime. It's a little tangy and just really, really good. And asam laksa is definitely one of those dishes that you probably haven't tasted before. So we're heading to PJ to go try it out. I'll see you guys there. We're having some laksa at House & Co. And it's more of an expensive option, but the initial place that we wanted to go to looked kind of dodgy so and I also read in the news that food poisoning cases in Malaysia is going up exponentially so I'm here for a safe bet and we got a chunky version instead of what was that one? Moshi? Chunky instead of smash but I think normally in the hawker stalls it's smashed but it looks super good the soup is really sour and flavorful this is asam laksa there's all sorts of different laksas in Malaysia this is asam Fish head or fish fillet noodles. This is another one of my favorite rice noodle dishes. I like the thicker spaghetti looking rice noodles, but a popular alternative is to have it with bihun, which is a really thin rice noodle called vermicelli. This soup has milk and Shaoxing wine added to it. Oftentimes you'll see tomato pieces, a little bit of preserved vegetables, some ginger, and Chinese cabbage. The Shaoxing wine gives it its fragrance and its flavors enhanced even more by topping it with coriander and spring onion. The fish fillet or fish head is usually fried till crispy and the bones are used then to flavor the stock. I'm gonna double down on this. <laughs> My absolute favorite is Teochew fish ball noodles. I love it so much I had it twice in a span of a couple of days. I love how bouncy the fish balls are and how light and clean the broth tastes. The famous part of Teochew fish ball noodles is that the fish balls have meat inside so if you look this is a fish version and then there's a meat version and when you bite into it, it literally pops in your mouth.
my dad opted for something different. It's a dry version of the Ipo Kui Tiao. And he also added Yong Tao Fu, which is why you see the curry sauce. And also he has a little bit of fried stuff within his noodles as well. Today's juice is definitely more easy to stomach. It's an orange and lemon juice. It's so good. For breakfast today, we are going to be eating cha kui tiao, which is also a dish made out of rice noodles. They fry it in a wok with a combination of sauces, dark sauce, soy sauce, and they add egg, bean sprouts, prawns. Usually they also add cockles, which is called siham, but I never add those, so I just haven't eaten them since young and I don't really have any desire to start to be honest. This dish is a favorite in Malaysia and you can eat it for breakfast, lunch or dinner. It's up to you when you want to have it. I think in Malaysia there isn't really any definition of dishes that should be for breakfast, lunch or dinner. You can have anything at any time. Chakui Tao is meant to be stir fried in a wok at very very high heat so that you get a wok hay which is a smokiness in your dish and that's how you're able to tell if it's a good Chakui Tao or not. Today we are going to Head to a place called Stevens Chakritao to try out this iconic dish. Let's go! There's Chinese sausage, lak chong, eggs, prawns, chives, beans, sprouts. It's a little spicy as well. Spicy. In a good way. This is a small serving and it's 8 ringgit 50 cents for this. This is rice noodles with curry sauce and yong tau fu. You can usually opt to have this with a dark and sweet sauce or you can have it with a curry sauce like what my dad's doing. Yong tau fu is a Hakka Chinese dish consisting of basically a lot of vegetables stuffed with a fish paste or some meat and generally the rice noodles are cut up into smaller chunks. Pork ball noodles is another one of my favorites. There's a soup version and a dry version and today I'm going with the dry. Although confusingly for some, it comes with soup too. Just the ratios are different and the taste of noodles as well. The soup is slightly peppery and savory. The noodles come with pork balls, some pork sausage and also some minced pork. The dry version comes with the noodles mixed in with a flavor of sauces, whereas the soup one would have the noodles in the broth instead. The pork balls are nice and springy and are usually in the shape of rounded rectangles, very different to the shape of a fish ball. Don't forget the green chili too, which is a great accompaniment for the dish to reset your palate. Good morning everyone! Today's juice is a freshly squeezed apple juice, and I'm pretty sure he added random olive things inside, but at least it's mostly apple this time. These are some random tips that you should always be aware of when you're going out to hawker stalls in Malaysia. Firstly, when you go to a hawker stall or a coffee shop, it's always free seating. So if there's any free tables available, just go ahead and sit there. And another thing is, in most of these hawker places, you're pretty much always obligated to buy a drink. Once you've sat down, someone will come to you and ask you for your drink order. Tap water is not a thing in Malaysia, and this is really normal. Usually for this, you pay with cash. People who are going to take your drink order are different to the people who are you're gonna go order food from. Depending on the hawker stalls, there are sometimes a lot of different, different stalls all around, so you would go there, and you would order your individual dishes and you either go pick them up or generally they're able to come and bring it to you and again you usually pay by cash so make sure you have cash on hand another top tip is to make sure that you're always carrying some tissue in your bag because oftentimes these hawker stalls do not provide you with any tissue and it's always just useful to have some in your handbag another thing is when you're done you just get up and go because you pay for everything already and also someone will come over later to come help clear your plate. I hope those tips are useful for you if you ever decide to visit Malaysia. If you want any more tips, just let me know down in the comments below. Today, I'm going to be eating another variation of a rice noodle dish which is called Cantonese Fried Kui Tiao. It's a dish that's also referred to as Watan Hor or eggy noodles. This dish is usually served with a variety of noodles. My personal favorite is with rice noodles, but I know another big seller is with crispy noodles. This dish comes with some vegetables, sometimes it has seafood, and then sometimes it has meat. The sauce is really thick with a lot of eggy bits in it, and it's a really savory dish, 
and the best place is always fry the rice noodles with a little bit of soy and dark sauce before adding the delicious eggy sauce. Well, let's go try it out. I'll see you guys there. We're going to Sun Key, which is a hawker center, and I'm gonna get some watan hawk. Hi. This was 23 ringgit because my dad added an extra portion of beef. So it's a lot of food. And this is from the Thai Pasai shop. And there's rice noodles in here. The ginger beef. It's a massive portion. And these beef slices are really tender because it's been, I think, sitting in a baking soda. It's really good. The beef just feels like velvet. is definitely enough for like two people easily and um, I think I'm gonna struggle to finish it. But yeah it's really tasty. The guy was frying it with like so much wok curry just now and um, the beef is just so tender. It did take kind of a while to get the food because there's a really really long queue of people. Everyone who comes here orders from him but it's worth it. Definitely worth the wait. I am so full but I'm almost done. I think I'm pretty impressed with how much I can eat nowadays. Okay, oh. 